<sighs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. I still use books on eBay and Amazon and today we're looking at the best-selling books on the platform eBay right now. Grab my piece of paper with my notes on it because I can't remember 10 books at a time. Um, so what I did was I went on eBay, searched for books, and I typed in minus sign because I'm not interested in signed books today. We're just looking at all books, not worried about the price of the signature, just the price of the book. Um, went to sold, sorted highest to lowest, and that's what we're looking at today. I picked out 10 of the highest selling books. Now, I did skip some because there were some repeats in here. There were some repeated themes, some repeated books, and then there was a bunch of best offers. I wasn't 100% sure where they landed. Um, but yeah, we're just going to start going down this list. If this type of video interests you, or if there's any certain genres of books that you want me to do one of these videos on, go ahead and subscribe to see the next video and comment down what genre you want to see next. We've done some other genres in the past, cookbooks and different things, so check those out. But anyways, we're gonna start off with number one. Number one on this list is a set of North Korean magazines was sold for $10,000. Now this was sold out of China. I'm a little curious to whether this was legit or not, but I don't know, it looked good the quick research I did of it. But there's some important things here. This is coming out of North Korea, so it's going to be very scarce, obviously. Um, and also because of that, it's going to be a lot of people are more interested in kind of North Korea and what's going on there. So, yeah, I don't know if that number that number doesn't feel legit to me, $10,000, but maybe it is. I don't know. You can do some research yourself. Number two, I put this number two on the list because we had some sold here of like four or five thousand dollars but there was also lots of these selling in this multi-thousand dollar range and that is the book of mormon now i've sold some copies before for like a few hundred dollars never anything this high but just kind of didn't realize how high. i knew these could get very expensive but four or five thousand dollars expensive wow book of mormon earlier the better of course book of mormon number three um this one was accidentally signed. I noticed that when I was going back through here, double checking things, but I decided to include it anyways, because it's a great book to be on the lookout for that you can totally find. And that is your AA Alcoholics Anonymous. You know, first edition, first printing, of course, is going to do the best. Um, but even, even some of the more modern ones, I find they still sell quick enough that it's usually worth listing them on eBay. It's a great book always to be on the lookout for. Some of the newer ones, of course, they're so mass produced, not worth as much, but you know, if you're getting even things like 20, 30 years old, you're going to start looking into books that are usually worth selling. Alcoholics Anonymous. Of course, first editions are going to go anywhere from a few hundred dollars up to several thousand dollars, depending on the printing and if it's signed or not. Number three. Number three. This took me a minute to figure out what it is, but it's a Warhammer set. Horse Hershey Black Library. I'm sure I'm butchering that name here, but it is a Warhammer set. We're going to put it up on here, the screen, so that you guys can take a second and just look at it. Look at these, kind of memorize what we're looking at here, because these are so... Most of them didn't have the whole set. I don't even think the whole set's been printed yet, but we're talking two to like almost $5,000. A lot of these are going, are selling at auction, doing really, really well. Warhammer stuff in general, always be looking out for, but this set... It's apparently extra special right now. Number five, I picked this one really because of the theme that it is all about. 1678, Antiquity of China. China stuff, China history is doing really well right now. There's a lot of money coming out of China right now. They're trying to buy back a lot of their history. We talked about this before when we did the cookbook session. We had a, one of our highest selling cookbooks was a Chinese cookbook. But here we got 1678, Antiquity of China. Didn't write down how much it sold for, but if I remember right, it was right around $3,000 on an auction. So yeah, looking great. Number six on our list is something, I'm kind of surprised it took this long to get on the list, but that is a Bible 1590, from 1597. Bible's best-selling book in the world, so of course we're going to see it here at the top of the list. Earlier the better, we're talking, you know, 15, 16, 1700s really to be a lot, a lot of value, but you know what? Two, three thousand dollars from 1597. Absolutely great. Number seven on the list. Be very careful. Listen careful here. Harry Potter. One through seven sold for, I think, right around $2,200. Now, almost all of this value comes from that first book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The first printing of the American edition can do really, really well. 
However, everybody, not everybody, a lot of people get confused because all the later reprints still say First American Edition on them. However, you've got to look at the print marks on them to make sure you actually have that very first printing. There's also deluxe editions of these that do really good. Those deluxe editions came out in the UK. Um, I saw a Russian deluxe edition that sold really good. There's American deluxe editions. Having that full set of that deluxe edition does really good. But really, Sorcerer's Stone US first printing is something you can run into. Very uncommon. They weren't printing a lot because it wasn't popular yet. That very first printing can do really, really well. Number eight on the list was a Freemason book from 1872. Anything Freemasonry, Masonic, that stuff can sell really well. This book was kind of early, 1872. I'm sure if you find something even earlier, it could do even better potentially. But once again, we're looking on eBay solds, which is just the last 90 days. So some really rare stuff is not going to show up on here. Number nine, I included it on this list, even though it was a best offer, just because it's a theme that we need to talk about here. And that is 1892 Moby Dick first edition. Any of these big, like classic pieces of literature, you know, Moby Dick, I mean, amazing book. Any of those big, like classics of literature, if you can find first editions, first printings, they can do really well. Signatures, of course, can add lots of value. That's a big part of why not many of them made the list because a lot of the high dollar ones are the signed ones. Number 10, I included it on this list. Honestly, just because it was kind of personal to me here, 1860 Cherokee Bible, I am in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, you know, home of the Cherokees. So seeing this Cherokee Bible on this list was really neat. The type of thing I could potentially run into in my neck of the woods, but another Bible made the list here for our top 10. So that's the 10 top selling books on eBay in the last 90 days. For anybody watching later, it is currently, what month is it? Is it August? August 2024. It's, I don't know, like the 19th or 20th today when I'm filming this. But yeah, any other genres you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see me do these sold videos on? I, I'm liking these videos. Are you liking these videos? I don't know. I've done cookbooks, little golden books, all sorts of things. What kind of books do you guys want to see? Let me know. See you later. Bye.